Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show how gallium reacts to aluminium to cause this. And I'm also going to show you how to recover gallium the most easiest way, like this. Let's get started. <laughs> First, I'm going to start with this piece of cardboard, since gallium is very messy. And I have this aluminium heatsink, and as you can see, it's very strong, very hard to bend, and it's almost impossible to break it by hand. Even if I take a hammer to it, it won't break. And now it's time to use some gallium to destroy this heat sink. I have right here some liquid gallium that I've already melted, and I use my hot air gun to melt it. It didn't take very long since gallium melts at 30 degrees Celsius or 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do is take this gallium and pour it on top of this aluminium. But before I do that, I need to remove the oxide layer by using my pocket knife and scratch off the surface, just like this. And now let's go ahead and pour it on top, just like this. The reason why I'm using this hot air gun is so that way I can speed up the process so it can react a little bit faster. And my room is cold, so the gallium keeps solidifying too quickly. And there you have it. Three days later, the gallium has reacted to the aluminium. And I've used this hot air gun to keep the liquid gallium liquid since my room is cold and the gallium kept solidifying. So I kept it liquid and it sped up the reaction. And as you can see, this piece of aluminium is now brittle. Even a little piece of it fell off on its own. And as you can see, as I pick it up, it already is falling apart. It takes no effort to break, just like that. Yeah. The reason why aluminium gets destroyed by gallium is because gallium likes to enter the crystalline structure of aluminium and disrupt the crystalline structure, which then causes it to become brittle and weak. See a little crack in it. Broken. Oh, and this one I just dropped and it shattered. Oh, this feels like a cracker. No effort. It just breaks. Next, I'm going to take some pliers and destroy this heat sink even more. The reason why is so that way I can create more surface area to react it with water to be able to release the gallium. Plus, this is also fun. So I have right here my beaker, and I'm ready to fill it up with some distilled water, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this broken up heat sink inside to react it with the water. And as you can see, I waited about an hour, and there's a little bit of reaction. You can see some hydrogen being formed on top of the aluminum. But that reaction, by just leaving it at room temperature, is a little bit too slow, and especially since my room is too cold. So what I'm going to do is take the beaker and put it inside of this heating mantle to speed up the reaction even more. Okay, so now since I have it on the heating mantle, I waited for it to get a little warm, and now we're starting to have more of a vigorous reaction. A little, just a little bit of heat caused this uh, to now release hydrogen. Go ahead and stir it up a little bit to react it some more. Agitate things a little bit. Oh, there. Yeah. 
I'm going to go ahead and light the hydrogen gas. As you can see, the bubbles are popping. That's hydrogen gas. See? As you can tell, that's hydrogen gas. Ten hours later, I accidentally let the water evaporate, and this is what I'm left with. And as you can see, I have gallium-infused aluminium, which formed into a beautiful solid. And as you can see, the gallium formed beautiful crystals in this solid. I could stop right here and just keep it as is, but I want to extract the gallium out of the aluminium. What I'm going to do is take this aluminium and gallium alloy and place it back inside my beaker. Refill it up with more distilled water. just like this, and then bring it back to a boil, so that way I can restart the chemical reaction. And there we have it, I brought it back to a boil, and it should look just like this. Shake it around, and as you can see, the gallium is now freed from the aluminium. And there we go, it should look just like this. What's left inside floating around is just aluminium oxide and a few other impurities that did not dissolve in the water. What's left is just pure gallium. Okay, so now what I'm going to attempt to do is since now I poured the gallium and let it sit on the side and then let the slag sit on the opposite side, I'm going to carefully place this piece of wood right here and I have my syringe right here and I'm going to go and try to suck up the gallium. As you can see, the gallium is now set on the bottom of the syringe. Now I'm going to try to separate some of the water and attempt it a second time. Okay. okay. Attempt two. I'm going to get to what's left of the gallium. do this quickly because I don't want the gallium to solidify in the plastic because gallium likes to stick to plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and try to like carefully kind of go in this angle and squirt it all out, squirt out all the water. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Now I have my container that contained gallium before. And I'm going to squirt the rest back in here. And there we go. Now as you can see, I have the liquid gallium right there. And to me, that looks pretty pure. Still some water in here, so I'm going to dump it out. Alright, and just pour it back in. And there. I recovered my gallium. And there you have it. Now you know how to react gallium with aluminium, and you also know how to re-extract gallium from aluminium alloy. And by using gallium as a catalyst, you can repeat this process indefinitely, because gallium can always be dissolved back into aluminium, and then aluminium alloy with gallium placed back into water boiled will allow you to be able to create hydrogen gas. And this is one of the industrial methods to create hydrogen gas. So if you want to be able to create hydrogen gas, this is one of the ways to do it. 
And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.